Um, has anybody heard of uh, Superman? Right? Okay. Has anybody heard of Bizarro Superman? So I have this thing when I was uh, working on improving myself, personally and professionally, I had Bizarro Jamal. So Bizarro means opposite, right? So instead of saying hello, you say goodbye when he comes to a room, instead of going up, you go down, it's the opposite, right? So if you're naturally shy, then you just say, okay, I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to go up there and talk, or I'm going to go to this person. If I naturally wouldn't say hi to anyone, I'm going to say hi to everybody in the room. Try that for one day, and the results will actually be like very shocking. So taking massive action means doing it. Don't think about it too much, just do it, and then worry about the consequences after. Obviously positive things, not going to be bad things, right? But um, you definitely want to make sure that you're work out of your comfort zone. Because in order to grow, you have to like push yourself past the point that makes you nervous. Okay. And number six, meet with your mentor and review your goals. So once you set your goals, once you're working towards your goals, regularly meet them, whether you want to call them, text message, email, Skype, but meet with them regularly and review them. Okay. And most important, follow up. In Toronto, most people who network never follow up. So if you follow up, you stick out a lot more. Okay? I'm obsessed with following up to the point where when I call, people say, hi Jamal, right away, because they know it's me, right? If you follow up once, twice, three times, even if you say, hi, I was thinking about you, is everything okay, how's your week? It's that simple, give me a two minute phone call, right? But the key is to follow up to show that you're on their mind, they're thinking of you, and you're actually interested in taking the initiative. Okay? So this is a very good, very simple, it's two words, but most people won't follow up. Okay? So this is the key to building yourself, but also your relationships. Okay? So, how to step out of your comfort zone? Very simple. Say yes more, say no less. So do I have a volunteer for anyone to take over the uh, rest of my presentation? You, sir. What's going on? How are you? <laughs> oh, good. Good, good. Any volunteers? Yes. Yeah. Most people uh, are, 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 is anybody like really, really scared of public speaking? Don't be shy. Huh? They're already scared when people not close. Well, yeah, well, I'm hoping that we're all honest here, right? Does anybody like, like, really like to speak in front of like, a crowd, audience? Nice, that's excellent. So, one of the things I've always liked to do is to test myself, right? So, if I was scared of public speaking, I would do it. If I'm scared of heights, then I'll go into the same town. If I'm scared of um, working out, then I take martial arts. Um, as, as, as I can tell you, uh, they make you push yourself so hard that you go past the point that you actually thought you could do. So let's say, for example, you can only do 10 push-ups, and they make you do 100. Then you think, oh, okay, 100, and they just keep counting, counting, and you'll check his watch, you'll look outside, start talking about the weather, and you're just like, oh, my God, right? But they do that to mentally push you past the limit that you actually think where you can stop, where you can go past it. Right? So to get out of your comfort zone, one of the things I actually like to do is write a list of things that scare me or that I need to share. Like one is not being able to provide for my family. Two is to die without leaving a legacy. Three is uh, boredom. Four is riding a motorcycle. Five is jumping out of a plane. Six would be to have a presentation where everybody falls asleep. So like these are the different things I'm just being honest with you, right? But then in having a list, I can actually see it on paper in front of me and realize, okay, that's not so bad, that's not so bad, that's not so bad. Let me try it, right? How many people have a list of things they're scared of? No, eh? Right? You just kind of push it to the back end there. Is anybody scared of like horror movies? Yeah? No? Yeah? Oh, my God. <laughs> but the thing is to at least try it, right? Like, for example, this month, 
have you done anything that you could say, you know what, I've never tried that before and it wasn't that bad? Has anybody, anything, it could be food, movie, anything? What did you do, sir? Uh, uh, I gave a speech in Kabul for the first time. Yeah. Last night. So, uh, I was like, okay. How'd it go? <laughs> it was good, it was good. It was good? It was a lot. Yeah. I was scared for a bit, but uh, it's all good. Yeah, so you were scared at first, then it got easier. Was everybody there when you were done? Did they get up and leave? <laughs> no, 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 no